Welcome to part two of the compass panel. As you can see, I've started to glue the pieces of the pattern onto the glass. One of the things that I have to pay attention to is which way the glass is running. I want them to have some sort of sense to it. If you have clear glass that has no real design to it, it's just clear, but it's a color, it doesn't really matter what position that piece occupies. But when you've got lines running through it, or you've got texture running through it, you kind of have to pay attention to that. You notice that this side is textured, this side is not, and the pieces are upside down. See the marker line is, that's the back side of the paper. It's because when I cut this, I can't cut this side, that's impossible. I can cut this side, but I want this side showing when it comes to the glass. Same here. There's a little bit of texture on this one, so I'm using the soft side, and so you can see that the pattern is on the opposite direction. Now this, these are going to be very, very tricky because you see how deep these are and you see how thin this is compared to the circle I have to cut out of it. These pieces with regular glass cutters are about impossible to do without breaking the glass into two different or three different pieces. Uh, so, I got a new toy. I'll be using my ring saw to cut those impossible pieces. And as it cuts, it also grinds so the edges will be nice and smooth.